Hello, in this question, we are given this balanced chemical equation. And balanced chemical equations are very useful because the coefficients in a balanced equation tells us the mole ratio. The mole ratio is the ratio in which the reactants react and the products are formed. If there is no number written as a coefficient, it's understood that it's a one. So therefore, our mole ratio here is two moles of carbon will react with one mole of oxygen to produce two moles of the CO. So we have a two to one to two mole ratio. Reactants are reacting in a two to one ratio. All right, so the next thing I want to do is count up how many of each of these we have. So for the carbon, we have two, four, six, eight, and they're just individual atoms. For the oxygen, we have one, two, three, four, five molecules. All right, so remember that mole is just a multiple of atoms. So our number of moles are going to be in this same ratio, this eight to five ratio. So we know that the one with the most initial moles is going to be the one that has the most particles. In other words, the carbon. And the fewest or least initial moles are going to be the oxygen. Finally, we want to know the limiting reactant. Well, the limiting reactant in any reaction is the reactant that is used up first. Because once it's used up, the reaction will stop. You can't have a reaction if you don't have all of your reactants. So the reactant used up first is the limiting reactant because once the reaction stops, it limits how much product can be made. Okay, so we can use our mole ratio to help us answer this question. We want to see which one is used up first. And we see that they react in a two to one ratio. Well, that means if we want to use all eight atoms of the carbon, we would need half that amount or four molecules of the oxygen. So that's how much we would need. Well, we have five, so we have extra oxygen. When we use up all eight of those carbon atoms, we're still going to have oxygen left over. Therefore, the one that's going to be used up first is the carbon. And again, it's just based upon how much we have in relation to the mole ratio. So it's a two to one ratio, so we need twice as much carbon as oxygen. If we wanted to use all of that oxygen, we'd have to take two times five, which is 10. We would need 10 of the carbon, which we don't have making the carbon the limiting reactant. Even though, I'm sorry, it was the one that we had the most of originally, and the oxygen was the one that we had the least of. So even though we had the most carbon, it's the limiting reactant in this question because of that two to one ratio. Thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful.